history, all four belts in the Cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man. Andrew McCart, IFL TV and associate with MTK Global. I'm here with IBO world champion Chantel still. You yeah. defended your title quite well there against a very tough opponent. Uh, how do you rate your performance? Um, it was good, yeah, I got the 10 rounds in. I've not done 10 rounds before, so it's my first time. I do 10 rounds all the time in the gym, sparring uh, good quality lads and stuff. And obviously I wanted the 10 rounds in an actual fight to see how I can handle it. And uh, 10 rounds flew by, like, I wish it was 3 minute rounds because... You've been, you've, been oh. you've been advocating that for so long now, haven't you? Yeah, you wanted the 3 rounds, I, I, so... It was the only three minute minute round it was when the ref was like, right, last round, I was like, Jesus, like, I'm going for it now because obviously uh, I, I went looking at the card to see what round it was. Yeah. So uh, I wish it was three minute rounds because I think I've got. If it was three minute rounds, would you uh, just say that? Sorry, you've answered my question. She was really tough, yeah, but I felt like I was getting the better of her. Like a couple of times I've seen I was hurting her, but the two minute rounds wasn't enough. She was tough. Like, she knows how to survive. So if it was a three minute round, I could have got her out with her. But obviously, women's is still twos at the minute, which yeah. is a shame. But but you'd obviously want the three minutes, oh, the three, definitely. Yeah. Well, was there a moment in that fight because you did land some sickening body shots I've seen and landing some good, nice straight right hand, which seemed to be a signature move in this gym? Um, did you, was there a moment in that fight where you thought, oh, I've got her, I'm getting her out? Oh. Yeah, look, uh, it, was, it was a couple of times where I've seen, like, she, I could see by her facial expression. I could tell like, she wasn't really in it anymore, like, she didn't really want it. Uh, but uh, she's, she's a tough girl, like, she's been in the pros for ages, she's had a lot of fights, a lot of experience, and she knows how to survive, and that's what she does, she's good at what, she's good at her job. Well, obviously, you've defended your title, you've done the 10 rounds. What's next for you? You still want these big fights to step up fights until... Yeah, there's you, is there any names out there in uh, the lightweight division and obviously there's other world champions out there. That you name names? <laughs> there's, there's plenty. Yeah. <laughs> all four of them, the uh, WBI, IBF, all of them, like, they have the belts and I want to unify. So obviously... I've so you're obviously willing to... Are you willing... Are you, are you ready now? Well, well, you're only five fights into your pro career. Uh, six, yeah, six fights now. Six so, fights, sorry. Yeah, yeah my six bad. Six fights. So um, whenever the teams aren't ready, like, they follow them, sort of the amateur when I'm tired of fighting, I'm fighting. I fight whoever I'm tired of fighting. So, so you, you basically. I want the champions though. I want you, all the belts. When, when do you think you can be ready? Look, looking at the end of 2018, let's, obviously we're just in the first quarter of March. Looking at the end of 2018. Where do you see yourself? Hopefully with another world title around my waist. Mm, yep. Yeah, any of them. Any of them, doesn't matter who. No. You want to name names, give me a name? <laughs> well, there's Katie Taylor, which yep. I know you're waiting yep. for. Yep, yep, that's the one. Uh, there's Dermy Passoon. Yep. There's Rosa Val Valente. So one you're, of them, you're basically willing to fight any, any of them? Any of them, yeah. Like, I'll work with Shane, I'm always learning, I'm always improving. I think like tonight I showed a different different boxer. Like, usually I'm, I'll go in there and I can bulldoze them. Mm. But she was tough, she was throwing back, she'd hit. Uh, she knew how to survive, she was taking my shots so I learned a lot tonight and I think that's what I needed in my career I'm still new to the program I've not even been pro a year yet so I've got a lot to learn and tonight was a big lesson for me well I've noticed that you're, you're progressing quite well so uh, <laughs> no doubt you've got a bright future ahead of you Chantel but I'll let you go and get your shower and all that and get ready for Josh's fight so thanks for this fight for TV thank you all four belts in the cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man